To set up Android Emulator, you have to have Android Studio installed. Open up Android Studio and select your Flutter project. Then at the top right corner, you have this device icon which says Device Manager. You can click that and next you can click on the Create Device button. Here you can see different devices with different resolutions and models. It totally depends on you which one you like and which one you prefer. If you have a high-end desktop, you can go with any of them, it doesn't really matter. But if your PC is low to medium like an 8GB RAM or 16GB RAM, then you can go ahead with the Pixel 3a or Pixel 4 which works smooth. And make sure that it has little Play Store icon beside it that means it supports Play Store or Google Play because some features of application will not work if you do not have Play Store in your device. Now you can select next and from here you can select different Android versions that you want. Most of the time we choose the Android version according to our application. Especially if you want to release your application you have to test it with different Android versions like with the lower version and with the latest version. But for now we can go with 29 or 30 which is somewhat in between and that should be good clicking next we have some more customizations which you can play around with it and it doesn't really matter and finally you can press finish and you're good to go you can close android studio now and come back to visual studio code and run your emulator by clicking this bottom button and then you can select your emulator name and it will be up and running once your emulator is started you can see your device name right here and, and now you can run your application by clicking on this run and run without debugging mode. It will take some time on first run and next time it should be faster. So finally we have our application running in the emulator. You can see our app bar and the title that we have given.